Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor for those of you who don't know and today I'm going to walk you guys through my skincare routine. I'm super super excited for this video just because for the longest time I struggled with my skin. I just couldn't get the breakouts to stop um, and then after I did get the breakouts to stop my dark spots were so bad on my face just from constantly picking up my skin and popping my pimples. So I finally found a really good skin regimen that works for me and hopefully I can help you guys out that have similar skin to me. So basically for years I used every drugstore product that was on the shelves. Whether it was like clean and clear, Neutrogena, anything I used it just because I wanted to try everything possible that would clear up my skin and nothing worked. I just feel like drugstore products aren't going to work if you have really bad skin. You need something that has a lot of vitamins, a lot of AHA to just really, really clean out your skin. So I'm going to bring you guys through the products that have helped me out. Okay, let's start with, I'm trying to think what to start with, morning or night. Um, I guess we'll just start with morning. So the first thing that I do when I wake up is I wash my face. So I have been using the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. This is amazing. Um, hopefully it'll focus so you guys can see. So it looks like this. It's just in a little white bottle. But this is so good because I, I'm the type of person that likes that frothy face wash. I like to see the bubbles and I like to really, really push it into my skin to know that it's working. The smell of this is... It's very minty. Ooh, it's still a little wet from my shower. It's very minty and clean. So that's another thing that I like because it really just wakes you right up in the morning. Um, and the good thing about this, which I will link everything down below, but the best part about this product is that it's very, very affordable. I think this whole bottle is about $20 retails for that. And this bottle probably lasts me about two months. So washing my face morning and night. I mean, don't get me wrong, just like everyone else, I can be very lazy in the mornings and not wash my face every morning, which you should. But the best thing about my skincare routine is right after I wash my face, I always go in with a toner. So I use in the morning, I use the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. So this is the bottle. It's really, really nice because it has... Um, Sorry, the bottle's a little see-through because I've used a ton of it. But if you guys can see um, this stuff in the bottle, that's actually real rose petals. So it's just, rose is so good for your skin. It's very hydrating. It's going to penetrate all the bad oils out of your skin from sleeping overnight. And I just put a little bit on like a little cotton pad and then brush it all over my skin. But the best part about using a toner and getting into using a toner in the morning is... If you do not wash your face in the morning, this just gets off all the dirt anyways. So I'm not going to like promote not washing your face in the morning. But if you're running late, I mean, we all do it. Then this is just like a great thing to use anyways. So I always, between steps, I always like to let my face kind of dry a little bit. So that um, all the products kind of soak in on their own. But after I use that... I go in with my holy grail product. Now you guys, I cannot stress this product enough. It has changed my life. I want to go into a little bit of a background story about this after I tell you guys what it is. But it is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Boosted with Truth C Complex. So this is what the bottle looks like. And I have another full like big big bottle just because I use it so much but basically I told you guys I used to use drugstore products all the time but I shopped at Sephora for my makeup so you know when you get those like little samples you get to choose them well I chose a little bottle of this and just in the matter of like five days or however long those um, little samples last you they don't last long they're very very small it literally changed my skin and this was when my skin was very very bad like I had a bunch of dark spots on my face, um, pimples everywhere. It cleared up all my rosacea. I was completely shocked because I was still using drugstore products. So if you're going to take one thing from this video, I would take this truth serum. It literally smells like oranges. So it's so refreshing to use in the morning. I just take about like one pump on my hand, rub my fingers together, and just really push it into my skin. This stuff, 
will change anybody's skin and it's really vitamin c is just good for everything it's good for anti-aging um hydrating obviously it's good for dark spots because it got rid of all of my dark spots um rosacea it was just amazing i was completely like i was like taken back by it so obviously i started purchasing it and then i think i went like a month without using it and my skin was awful i couldn't even believe it so now i just continually use this um see if it says anything else about it no but yeah you guys just need this product so i'm gonna have everything linked down below so you guys can check out prices um and just immediately buy it from sephora or wherever i link it down below from so the next thing um that i do after that is i moisturize so now moisturizing is kind of um personal i feel like because you could have really dry skin and need like a thicker moisturizer or you want certain things from a moisturizer so i've tried so many different moisturizers but the one that i just keep going back to is by kate somerville it's called exfoliate glow moisturizer this is what it looks like it comes with a lot in it um and i used to use her face wash so i'll i switch off from that origins one i showed you and then um the kate somerville face wash but basically this is just it smells so fresh and clean kind of smells like oranges as well it's a blue um color i've used basically all of this one so i really need another one i have been like using little by little just so i don't run out of it because i haven't been able to go to sephora so yeah that is the moisturizer i use morning and night so that is basically my morning skincare routine now something else that i do in the morning that i wanted to mention is i drink a ton of water i use this yeti um you can just get it from amazon i'll also link it down below with a metal straw and water i didn't believe it before but water is just so good for your skin after i started drinking like three of these a day i don't know how many ounces is in here but i drink about three of these a day and it just it changed my skin more in the um more in the sense of like it's more glowy now and um hydrated so i just i love drinking water out of this mm -mm -mm. it just keeps it like so cold in this yeti so yeah that's another thing i do in the morning and then my last um kind of like morning ritual for my skin is i take a vitamin i take the hair skin and nails gummies and they're so yummy that rhymed <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're really, really good. And you could just get them at Target and they look like this. Yeah, so I love them. I take two of them and they're really small and you just chew them in. They're delicious. So you guys need those too. And they also help your hair and nails. Okay, so now moving on to the more detailed part of my skincare routine, which happens at night. So the first thing that I do is I wash my face again with this Origins Checks and Balances. So I usually work out at night, so I'm in the shower when I'm doing um, my face wash and stuff. So I like to use a Clarisonic in the shower. And this is another product that I thought was like not a waste of money, but I just didn't really believe in it um, for a long time. And I swear by this. The first two weeks I started using this, all my um, impurities like came out. I was like completely blown away by it. Um, and so now I use it in the shower and I just have the Clarisonic, um, Mia 2. You can get this at Sephora. Now this isn't a must have to get your skin clean and clear, but after you have bought the other things and you want to invest more in your skincare, I highly suggest getting one of these. They have different, um, bristle toppers for like different kinds of skin, um, didn't really make sense but basically like if you have sensitive skin acne prone i use the radiance one i just really like the bristles they're really really soft so yeah so at night i use these two together in the shower and then when i get out of the shower i use again a toner but not the rose one i actually use this tea tree water toner from um, lush this one's about i think like ten dollars so it's very very affordable and basically it just cleanses and tones um, and balances your skin. It also tea tree is really, really good for acne. 
so i like to always use this and it's something so natural because it's made by lush like it expires it expires next year so basically you know it's very natural because it's going to eventually expire and I don't know, it just has really, really helped my skin. So if you're looking for an affordable toner, you can even use this in the morning instead of this, the rose toner, because this is a little pricey. So highly suggest using this right after you wash your face at night. And then, what else do I do? Okay, this is also very, very important. And I have repurchased this so, so, so many times. This is the TLC Glycolic Night Serum by Drunk Elephant. It has 12% 12 AHA. I just sounded so Boston <laughs> right there. But yeah, it has 12% AHA and it has raspberry extract in it. So that's what it looks like. So the cool thing about this is it has an airtight seal. So no bacteria, no air bubbles, nothing's going to get into the product itself because it has this really nice airtight seal. And I just take literally a pump of this rub it in my hands again just like i do with the vitamin c and just press it into my skin really softly and then i wait for it to dry until i move on to the next step i love this stuff this is going to basically turn over the cells in your skin if that makes any sense but basically it's going to take all the dead skin cells and basically bring them to the surface so you can eventually wash them away it fully changes your skin it's amazing and it will sting a little bit the first couple of times you use it but that just shows that it's working so i highly highly recommend that as well and then the next step is i'm going to moisturize again um same moisturizer whatever one you choose but i love 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 the kate somerville one so then after i moisturize my night routine is a little bit more in depth but it really really works so i highly suggest all of these products or just a few if you can whatever you can purchase basically start growing your skincare routine and then eventually add on to it so another thing that i incorporate into my skincare routine actually recently in the past year and a half i would say is an eye cream so i know i'm still really really young but in your 20s is when your skin is going to be one at its best and two it's going to start to change in your 20s so you want to start incorporating all these vitamins and minerals into your face so that when your cells do eventually turn over when you're older they turn over for the better and not the worse not the worst so i use the belief moisturizing eye balm looks like this Let's see if it'll focus So this is a great um this is a great under eye moisturizer i love it it's gonna um it actually says this eye cream has been cl clinically tested to provide up to 26 hours of moisture and improve skin elasticity um so yeah that's amazing that's like what you want you want the firmness under your eyes and you want the hydration because if you don't have those two things then when you put on makeup especially concealer under your eyes it's just gonna like cake up and look horrible horrible i mean i'm sure you guys who are watching this if you have dry under eyes you know putting on concealer is a nightmare so highly recommend this one it's not too pricey it's actually one of the cheaper ones at sephora but i forgot the price so i'm gonna link everything down below so you guys can check them out so then something else that i do at night that um i only do when i have like a pimple on my chin or just like any kind of pimple i use a spa treatment and this is the kate somerville somerville <laughs> i can't speak today i'm really sorry guys it's the kate somerville eradicate acne treatment so i'll explain this in a second once i show you guys the bottle so basically this is a spa treatment but on the top of the bottle you'll see here it says do not shake there we go so it says do not shake because i can't really show you guys it's hard to show you but basically the top layer of this bottle is a white not a white actually it's like a clear um it almost looks like water and then in the bottom is pink so that's like the actual medicine so basically what i do is i stick a q-tip in this it's kind of a pain with the small ones 
so make sure you get the big ones if you're gonna buy this product and I pull it out so it hits the water and it hits the pink stuff and then I just put um, some on my skin basically wherever the pimple is you don't want to put this on an open pimple like something you just popped because it'll sting like hell so just on pimples that have not been popped not exposed to the air yet um, that are fully open and you'll wake up in the morning and it's fully dried out and it's gone it's completely gone like I don't know if you guys have ever done this but when you were younger your parents told you to put toothpaste on your face to dry it out well my family always did and that only worked sometimes but this works all the time so now um, that is my skincare routine at night but I just kind of want to go into some other things like miscellaneous things so something that I use also at night and during the day is the Laneige Laneige I don't know what how it's I can't talk but I don't know how it's pronounced but it's the lip sleeping mask so this stuff is great for when you go to bed especially because you just wake up and your lips are like soft and plump and ready for like any kind of um maybe like liquid lipstick or just like anything i don't know they're just like really really soft and it smells like everyone thinks it smells like watermelon i agree but i also think it smells like lollies like lollipops i don't know but as you guys can see i have used a ton of this stuff like a ton if it would focus it's like basically gone i've used like so much of it but this is a little pricey, so something else that I use on my lips that I wanted to talk about that's super underrated and has been around forever is Carmex. <laughs> it sounds so stupid because this is literally like $2 for a pack of three, but you need to also use this one, not the one in the squeezy tube, but just like the actual Carmex like lip balm that you like twist up. I love this stuff so much. It's super, it's not goopy. But it's very thick on your lips and it just like hydrates them to no end so highly recommend this as a cheaper alternative okay i just want to apologize for like not being able to speak because it's so hard to talk on the camera but i'm trying to relay everything to you guys the best possible way i can so just bear with me okay so the next thing i want to talk about is my makeup remover i don't use makeup wipes i just think they're like so harsh on the skin so I use this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. So it comes in like this big circle container. As you guys can see, I have used a ton of this and I already had a, have a backup right down there, um, right next to my dresser because I love this stuff so much. I just take a little finger scoop of it, rub it together in my hands to just like heat it up and then I just melt away my makeup by pressing it into my skin for probably about like I don't know probably like 20 seconds or so and then I just wash it off with warm water and it literally takes off all your makeup anything waterproof mascara um, liquid lipstick it's great for and it doesn't have any sort of like weird smell or leave any residue on your face it's just it's a really good product I have repurchased this so many times I thought I would never stop using um, what do you call them I just said it um makeup remover wipes just because they're so easy but i will repeatedly use this no matter what and if i don't use this then i'm most likely not taking off my makeup for the night <laughs> to be completely honest so what else did i want to talk about oh another thing that i wanted to talk about is face masks because face masks are something that are very important to me um they just help you nobody can afford a facial all the time so these just help you clean out your face in an easier way. So I have three face masks that I absolutely love. Um, the first one is the Ole Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. So looks like this. It's in this green tube. And it is a blue color. So basically this smells really minty and clean too. But when you put this on, your face is so cold. It feels amazing. If you guys like that, oh my god. I love it and it just feels so good. And it basically just completely cleans out your pores. You just wash it off after. After it dries, I usually leave them on like 30 to 40 minutes though. 
So this one is amazing if you want to clean out your pores. The next one is an Origins face mask. This is new. Um, I watched a YouTuber and I forget her name. But she used this. And she loved it. So I'm like, you know what, let me just try it out. Because it has charcoal and honey in it. And I know charcoal and honey are really good for your skin. And another thing is, guys, look how cool this mask looks. I don't know if you guys can. There we go. It's just like the coolest looking mask. And it smells so good. It literally smells like honey. Like clean honey. I don't know if that makes any sense. But like literally like clean honey. Like oh, it just smells so good. So I put this on my face. Um, and this is to get rid of any impurities. So I use this when I'm having like really bad acne whether it's that time of the month or i've been eating like crap i use this <laughs> so basically one for your pores one for your impurities and then the last one is for hydration this is from lush this is very very affordable and it's amazing it's called bunny moon and it's a jelly face mask i'll show you guys what it looks like it's so cool as you guys can see i've already dug into it and just by using that much that's already like five face masks so for like twelve dollars just by using that little bit i got like five face masks out of it and oh my gosh if i could pick like the scent of every product i put on my face it'd be this this is rose and sweet vanilla so oh my god if you guys go in lush you don't even have to buy this just smell it <laughs> It speaks for itself it's amazing and it has little gold specks in it too you can't really see but it has these beautiful little gold speckles in it i don't know but it's just so soothing and so hydrating that it's like a winter staple especially if you live in like cold weather like i do oh my gosh you guys you need this mask so those are my three masks i kind of have different ones because my skin goes through different phases throughout the year or throughout the weeks okay i needed water and okay so for my last skincare i wanted to talk about lotion because lotion is something personal also because you know what your skin needs you might have eczema um you might just have dry skin in general but lotion is something that i always do when i'm out of the shower or in the morning but definitely before bed i always lotion sorry i have like a fuzz on my face or something so i want to talk about my favorite one first and then i'll go into a dupe for it that i also use all the time so my favorite lotion is sleepy body lotion by lush i'm sure you guys have all heard of it i love the smell of lavender as you can see um a lot of things that i use kind of have lavender and vanilla in it i just love smell of things really matters to me if i don't like the smell of it i don't want to put it on my body but lush sleepy lotion oh my gosh you guys it smells so good it's purple it's like the best smelling lotion ever this is the cover and i could just sit here and smell this like oh my gosh i love it so much it smells so so good i can't wait to use it tonight but basically this lotion it's called sleepy for a reason because when you put it on your body it doesn't put you to sleep but it literally relaxes you to no end like i just feel less anxious like i'm ready for bed when i put this on i'm just ready to go into my bed and just relax so when you wake up from using sleepy lotion the smell of it is just still on your skin i know my husband even loves this lotion like when i put it on he's like what did you just put on because the smell of it is just it's undeniable it's amazing so i highly recommend this lotion um the bad part about this lotion is it's made by lush so it's all natural so it does expire like this one expires in march so that's why i always get the little um tubs i don't get the big big one um, just because a little goes a long way and it does expire pretty quickly But if you're not into lush and you don't want things to expire that fast I have a dupe for this and I absolutely love this lotion as well This is by Aveeno and Aveeno just makes good products in general. So this is the stress relief moisturizing lotion And it also I think yeah, the scent is lavender chamomile and yin yang or something i don't know but it's a great moisturizer and i use this when i don't have the sleepy lotion because it does expire fast and i can't always get to the mall so yeah this is another great product 
so that takes you guys through i'm pretty sure yeah through my skincare routine and i was really really excited to do this pro um once again i cannot speak but i was really really excited to do this video just because after going through so many changes with my skin um, myself i finally found the regimen that works for me and i hope that if you guys don't buy all these products that's totally fine but i hope that you guys maybe test out some of them and in hopes that it clears your skin up too or hydrates your skin or just does something better for your skin because we can all use that in our lives so yeah i hope that you guys really enjoyed watching this video let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see like more sit down videos like this whether you guys want to see like um more skincare related videos or more makeup re related videos i want to film it all so just let me know what you guys want to see next and i will definitely make that happen so yeah don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye